and I said it right. Yes. Used pre-owned boots sold for almost $250. $400. Hey, Mellow Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are going to talk about big money bolos, items that you can pick up cheap and sell for a big profit. I am going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. Uh, these come from members of my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. This is what it looks like. And if you're not in it, definitely go and join. There is a link tree link down there, and that has my Facebook group in it, along with a bunch of other links. So you can follow me on social media. Um, these Bolos, wow. Some of them are just incredible things I've never even seen or heard of. So I think you're definitely going to be learning a lot in this video. So let's get started with the first one. It says, I went to a yard sale last summer. The woman was moving all out and offloading a lot of stuff. We found a whole lot of very cool vintage items there. Rooting through the DVDs, which I never bother with, I found this video game, which was still sealed in the original shrink wrap. I don't normally pick up sports games, but new and sealed caught my eye. I paid a dollar. This game took a long time to sell, but I suppose that the March Madness NCA NCAA <laughs> tournament helped me out. I am not a sports person. I got this game sold for asking price of $55 plus shipping on Mercari. It's an NCAA basketball 09 Sony PS3 PlayStation sealed. So I would have to agree. If the item is new and sealed, I am usually going to pick it up because if I can get it cheap, because it's new and sealed. It's at least going to be bread and butter. If you pay a dollar for it, you know you're at least going to flip it for 10, right? If it's new and sealed. So that is a very good tip that I absolutely 100% agree with. So I don't think I mentioned this, but these are the best April bolos. So I posted this in the Facebook group, and these are bolo items that members of my Facebook group found. So I post this, they share in the comments, and then I share it with you, and we all learn. So definitely go share a bolo if you want to have your bolo featured in a video like this. All right, so he has another one here for us. If you ever see this weird-looking fat gray tires... They are called wheelies. Snatch them up. You will be stunned at the resale value. Living in a beach town, I often see rusted out beach carts in the trash. Rarely do they have these type of wheels, but last week I scored these. Left the cart, took the tires. I could have made more money listing on eBay, but I knew they would move fast for a quick score locally. Uh, took two days to sell for $50 full price. I love me that good old curbside shopping. So they're wheelies and he actually put a bigger and large picture for us. So I think these are meant to be in the sand. Pretty cool, right? Curbside shop in there. All right, the next one. I bought this at my local Goodwill last summer, paid $4 each, sold one shortly after listing for $500. This one I sat on a little bit and it just sold for $360. I was on one side of the buggy digging Someone is on the other side, so I decided to wait until they were done. So I took a little stroll down the clothes aisle, went back to the buggy, didn't see anything on top, but something told me to dig deeper. And there they were. This is what it is. It is a Lisa Larson, oh, Gustav Gustavusberg, <laughs> Sweden. And I... I can't read the rest of the title. Oh, no. Um, is it a statue? Oh, goodness me. It looks like it's some sort of figurine or statue here. Wow, $360. Huh, wonder what she means by buggy. One side of the buggy. Paid $4 each. Maybe it was the Benz. I'm not 100% sure. And if you guys have not checked out my Goodwill Bins videos, definitely go check them out. I just did a collaboration video with Dad Planet, and this is that video right there. You can go and check that out. I'll try to remember to link it down below. But I'm actually digging in the bins. You guys get to see me source. And I also pop up screenshots of how I listed everything that I found. 
Okay, so this next one is my bolo. Um, I got this at a garage sale. I want to say it was 15. It might have been 10. And I took a best offer of $175 plus shipping. These are scholastic books. And what makes them special is I had 45 of them, but they came with this cute little case that was full of little puppy dogs. They were so cute. Um, this is what it looks like. It took a little while to sell, but not, I mean, it was less than a year. So to me, I knew that I priced it high and I was super happy selling it for $175. So they are called Puppy Patrol King Street Kennels Playset and Dogs by Jenny Dale. So if I just had the books, definitely probably would not have gone for so much. But anytime you can get books that are in series, definitely lot them up if they don't have like individual resale value above a certain margin. You can lot them up and then get more for your more more and less work. You know, if I would have listed 45 bu books individually, that would have taken me a long time. This did not take me a long time to list. All right, this one comes from Bolo Buddies member Champagne Taste 73. Um, what does that mean, Bolo Buddies member? That means she is a member of my Bolo Buddies YouTube channel at level two or level three, and she gets a mention in this video. So I am gonna pop up her eBay store and I am gonna link it down below in the description. So definitely go down to the description if they have a YouTube channel or an eBay store and they are a member, I am going to put them down there. They are usually Bolo finders. So go check out their stores. You can click on the heart of the eBay store and that will let you follow them. And you'll get notifications if they have coupons and also when they list new items. And if they have a YouTube channel, that will be linked down below. She does not have a YouTube channel. So what she said is, I found this at a thrift store for $3. It was new in the box and has never been used. I've never found anything. Oh, ah. <laughs> Oh, e Shia Pirelli, Shia Pirelli. We're going to go with that. This is what it looks like before. And it sold for $125 yesterday. Man, oh man, I have no idea what that word is. It's a wallet and she sold it for $125. Uh, yeah, you guys are going to have to help me out with that one. All right. If you're new here, I struggle a little with pronunciation. Those uh, weird words that I've never seen before. Yeah, I usually don't say them right. We still have a lot of bells. Got it at the Goodwill. Bought four cases for $125 per case. That's the sold price right here. Oh my goodness. It's a Marmark G number 4 AB4 note handbell. $400. dollars they bought four cases for $125 a case. I wonder if they were all different. Wow, that's incredible. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, paid $8 at the Goodwill, sold for asking price of $249.98 within a couple weeks. They are Kenner Trek Mountain Extreme 400 Boots Women, size eight and a half, and it says clean, and this is what they look like. So used pre-owned boots sold for almost $250 and the buyer paid shipping. So actually they paid over $250 for a pair of used boots. It can happen. LA gear, Michael Jackson sneakers. What? Bought for $7.99 at the Goodwill in March of 2023 and listed them on eBay for $375. Had lots of eyes watching them, but no buyers. I lowered the price and received an offer for 75, but I go Declined that offer since these shoes are extremely hard to find. After a month, someone did the buy it now price of $175. Not bad. This is what they look like. Eight bucks into $175. And who has heard of LA Gear and Michael Jackson? So tell me, um, were LA Gear, would that be considered Y2K? That was probably older. LA Gear was probably, yeah, 89, 90s, it says. So older than Y2K. If it is a Y2K item, definitely use Y2K in your title. That can help you get more um, exposure for your listing. At my local Hope of the Valley thrift store, I found a gallon size Ziploc bag that, ha would, bloop, 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 that had what looked like a huge fur ball inside of it for $4.99. I was so happy to find that inside where four beautiful and high quality 
Aesthetica. You know what? They actually put in parentheses how to say it. And I said it right. Yes. Aesthetica. I said it right without looking at their parentheses. Yes, yes, yes. Um, wigs. I listed them for $69 each and one has already sold for a best offer of $52 on Mercari. And this is what it looks like. Thank you. This was rescued from the Denver Benz. Ended up getting 149 plus shipping. Oh my goodness. The Goodwill Benz, you guys. It's a little tree topper. 150 bucks. Wow. It is an extremely rare vintage Kermit the Frog tree topper. Sigma Beauty Ceramic Star. And this is what it looks like. And you guys, normally, like, I'm sitting here and my table is cleaned off. And now I'm on whatnot and I'm having shows, like, two to three times a week. And there is stuff everywhere. So I've got all kinds of vintage jewelry and vintage fun stuff sitting around me for my next show. So if you guys are not following me on whatnot, definitely do that. There is a link down in the description. If you use that link, you're going to get $15 to shop. That is my referral link. If you want to sell on whatnot, there's a referral link for that as well, which may expedite you getting um, accepted quicker. So uh, there's a seller link and a buyer's link. So check those out. Do the buyer's link first to get your 15 bucks and then do the seller's link. Um, but yeah, come see me on whatnot. I am uh, selling all kinds of stuff. I think I'm going to be doing a toy show soon. So really, really excited. Um, I actually, I'll show you guys this. By the time you see this, it'll probably already be sold. But I did a little video and you guys may have seen it. It was a short and I showed this. And I was like, I'm bringing it to whatnot. I was just pulling it out of a tub and I was looking for vintage items because I'm having a vintage show. And Noelle Farm Girl Scavenger messages me and she's like, you better look that up. I'd put that for over $100 on eBay. And I'm like, I already said I'm bringing it to whatnot. And she's like, you better price it high. And I'm like, oh no. Anyway, it's vintage and it's got some writing on the inside and it's coming to whatnot. So I'm trying to bring like really cool, interesting things that I myself would want to sell. You know, I'm not just bringing the things that I don't want to sell on eBay. So definitely check it out down below. I would love to see you guys at a show. Even if you don't buy anything, just come hang out in the chat. All right. Estate sale home office for 50 cents. Um, home office is my favorite area of estate sales and often overlooked. Sold these on a quick flip in two days. Um, it is ink. It is Epson ink, four pack ink, expires once. So this is not expired. Now I know some people sell expired ink, but this is not expired. $26.90 it looks like. And 50 cents pickup into $26.90 is fantastic, especially when you can flip it quick. Some people prefer to just find the things that they know will flip quick. So let me know when you guys search solds and active listings, are you looking at sell through rate or are you just basing it on um, how many, um, like the comps, what the solds are for? Let me know if you look at sell-through rate, if that's important to you. I'm a long tail seller, so if it has good comps and there's a whole bunch listed, I'll wait it out. I'll also cross post it. I'll start on eBay and cross post it to Mercari and Poshmark. And sometimes if it's flooded on eBay, it'll sell on Mercari or Poshmark quicker. Um, I use List Perfectly. And I do have a video that shows how that works down below, um, how I use it to cross post. If you decide you want to try it based on that video, you can get 30% off your first month with coupon referral code BOLO BUDDIES, all one word. Now, um, why do I say that it's important to cross post? Because the people that sell on Poshmark are buying on Poshmark. They're probably not buying on eBay and they're not buying on Mercari. The people that sell on Mercari are buying on Mercari. Now me, I sell on all three platforms, eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. So guess where I buy? All three platforms. So, um, but I, I, I kind of like Mercari a lot. <laughs> so, but I spend a lot of money on eBay as well. Okay, I purchased this. Before I go any further, let me know which platform you source the most on. Is it the platform you sell on? Let me know. I purchased this at an online auction. I spent $10 on the entire lot. It sold in less than a month for $250. It's Blinko glass crackle decanter with shipping and tax buyer was all in for $294. And this is what it looks like. It is fantastic. It is beautiful. 
Um, it's something I would walk right past. So uh, I like these types of bolos because they teach me that I need to, even if it's breakable, think about does it have resale value even if you don't want to ship it. Bought this at a yard sale for $2. Not my best bolo because it took four months to sell, but since this is the beginning of April, it's the best this month. Thanks for doing all the bolo videos. I learned mu so much and appreciate your hard work. Okay, so to me, four months, I am good with four months. Um, two bucks into $53.93 plus shipping. I just list it and forget it. It is a Bridal Bug by Christopher Radko Christmas Ornament Wedding Gift Decoration. So this is what it looks like. And I actually have one of these listed in my eBay store right now. And um, Terry from Mindful Recycle actually gifted it to me in a box of bolos she sent me. You guys got to go watch this video if you did not see it. Oh my goodness. And if you have not checked out Terry Mindful Recycle, this is her channel. Definitely go and sub her up. And I mentioned Farm Girl Scavenger Noel earlier. Bolo finders, those two. Check them out. <laughs> Moving on. Keep your eye out for these 60s chalkware figures. Got this one at a estate sale as part of a box of items I put together. I paid 10 for everything, so I'm probably into this for less than a buck. And I sold her for a best offer of 65. <laughs> Pronounce kitschy. <laughs> Just for you, Courtney. Hippie retro mod kitschy. Flower Power Girl Vintage Chalkware Figurine Pencil Holder. And this is what it looks like. Yeah, kitschy. That one always gets me. All right. This one comes from a rural squirrel. To be honest, I didn't know this brand. But when I found this bag in the Minneapolis bins, it felt nice. So I looked it up. Henry Bendel is a luxury brand for L Brands who owns Victoria's Secret Pink and Bath and Body Works. Oh, I didn't know that. Um, I've heard of Henry Bendel, and I know that their items are a bolo, but I did not know that about L Brands. Um, she said it, and it dissolved in 2019, but still has value. It won a thrift challenge I did with I'd Flip That and Mick Flip and Ship, and just sold for a best offer of $100. P.S. Sold for $517.48. Got for free from another business that we own. This is an old stock that the business no longer sells. Be on the lookout for James Bama artwork. It is very popular and highly sought after. This one comes from Nina's Jewels. And um, she's talked about this one before, uh, this James Bama. So it must be just a big money bolo because she's featured it before because they sell for big bucks. This is what it looks like. And um, definitely go check out A Rural Squirrel and Nina's Jewels. All right, here comes another one from Bolo Buddies member Champagne Taste 73. She sold for $80 and it is going to Australia International Shipping. Purchased many years ago for $6. Didn't know how much Bowsher, Bowsher jewelry just Kept it and never wore it. Just thought it was interesting. Finally put it up for sale for $95 and took a best offer of $80. Nice profit. Um, so I don't know what she paid for it, but this is what it looks like. All right. I am posting this for It's All Goods 94 because she does not have a Facebook group. But um, she sent me over the bolos. And here's the first one. It is a vintage snowboard. Snow Thrasher 1990s by Black Snow used. She paid a dollar for it at a garage sale and sold it for 45 plus shipping. The next item here is this Tinkerbell. It's a Tinkerbell figurine Disney class collection Margie Ray certificate detail. Um, so I'm guessing she wants you to go to read the details. Found at a garage sale for five dollars and sold it for a hundred plus shipping. And the next one is this Viewmaster. How many of you pass by Viewmasters? I know I typically do. This one is a GAF Viewmaster Monster Gift Pack Collectible 6-Disc Set Vintage. Viewmaster paid $2 and sold it for $45. And It's All Goods 94 is selling a lot on Whatnot, so definitely check her out over there. Take Two Enterprises, Bolo Buddies member, and this is her eBay store. Um, it says eBay store name is Selling Is My Game. She said, I have just randomly found these dice and games I've gotten over the years. So for the price I paid, I would say free. Just sold these dice for $49.99 plus shipping to Germany. And this is what they look like. 
So they are vintage translucent Catalan Bakelite dice die. So that is her title. And they're green. Very cool. Got it at the Goodwill for $2.99 and sold it for $222.50. Excuse me. <clears throat> it is a vintage 1960s Gopher Israel Pottery Camel MCM Avraham, Avraham Blue Signed. And this is what it looks like. Oh, that's the name of her store. Okay, that's cool. I like the name of her store. I sell stuff I hope you like. Oh, that's such a cool name. I love it. Bought at Savers for $6. Prices were all over for these. So I bid at $60 and sold for $144. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I started the bid at $60. And so it was an auction. And it's a Howard Pierce porcelain hippo figurine. <laughs> How fun is that? It's a hippo. Oh my goodness, this next one, ah, so cute. Bought this for $2 at Salvation Army, sold for $45, sold in less than a week. Oh my goodness, I think I would have kept this. If I find one of these, I'm keeping it. This is the cutest thing ever. It says, Fungi Friends Blue Plush Stuffed Animal by Aurora. Oh, is that the cutest? Oh, I love it. Okay, I'm going to be on the lookout for keeps. For keeps. All right. Not really big money, but these were fast sales. The trinket box sold on Mercari in three days for an offer of 42, which was two times the price others were listed for. Paid six on high bid. So this is a vintage hobnail pink milk glass. Oh, Ardalt, Linwill, Linwil, China Trinket Dish, Japan. And this is what it looks like. And she did show the little breakdown of the fees. So if you guys are interested about um, how the fees work on Mercari, that's a great way to know. Um, if you're not selling on Mercari, I love Mercari. Um, and if you join with my referral link down below, you're going to get $10 to shop when you join and another $20 to shop when you sell $100 worth of stuff on Mercari. So that's $30 free dollars to shop. And what should you do with that $30? You should buy something to resell. And then you're making even more money. Uh, my referral link is down below if you guys want to check it out. The track mouse sold on eBay for asking price of $45 in two hours. Free from work and have another listed. Okay, so this is, it's a Longitech Marble Mouse USB trackball. And this is what that looks like. And she said, let's see. Courtney, thanks so much for the content you put out. I found the trinket box using Google Lens and I have a video that teaches you how to use Google Lens. It looks like this. If you guys are not using Google Lens, it is a free tool. It is super easy and it is going to help you identify so many items. Um, half of the people in the Facebook group, I don't think they have it. You guys need to get it because a lot of you are asking, what is this? And you could take a picture of it and use Google Lens and you would know immediately. And she said, let's see, I found the trinket box using Google Lens, which I learned about in your videos and knew there was a good bolo on some computer mice also from your videos. And thank you, Rhonda, got junk in our trunk. Love your content also. And Rhonda is a moderator of the Facebook group and she has an awesome YouTube channel. So she's just giving Rhonda a shout out. This has got junk in your trunk. I'm sorry, got junk not in your trunk. Ah, got junk in our trunk. <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right. Paid zero. Just time spent growing it out. Oh my goodness. What? I've seen everything. I've seen everything. Now, I'm going to talk about something after this, but th this I've not seen. Paid zero. Just time spent growing it out. Yes, that's what I said. If you're getting a haircut anyway, might as well make some money. Sold on eBay for full asking price of $99.99. Now, I've heard of people selling like their dreads, like they grow their hair out in dreads. And they I've seen that before. But this is just fresh cut virgin human hair, 14 inches, brown curly ponytail. She sold her ponytail. She sold her ponytail. I, I just feel like we should end the video with that one because I'm in a little bit of disbelief right now. She sold her ponytail. 
for a let's see she she charged shipping so she sold her ponytail for over a hundred dollars wow wow has anybody else ever sold their own hair? Let me know down in the comments. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. There's going to be some other videos popping up and a subscribe button. I hope that you'll subscribe and let me know which bolo was your favorite. And also let me know how you, how you found the channel. Thanks for watching.